Hello, very warm welcome. The season's just finished and already 2019 driver lineup confirmed for every single team. One of the strongest lineups we're going to see this year. Well, next year. Some of the drivers, all 10 teams, one of the strongest lineups we've seen in a while. Kubitz has returned, Kvyat's return, Kimi going to Sauber, Leclerc stepping up to the Ferrari. Ricardo seeking a new challenge at Renault. Lots of people moving teams. We'll start with the Constructors' Champions Mercedes. They're unchanged. They're going for a six Constructors. Hamilton's going for a six title. Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas will be in the Mercedes for 2019. Massive season for Bottas. If he doesn't improve, he'll be out. Hamilton... Can he win his sixth world championship? On to Ferrari. Sebastian Vettel will be going for his fifth title. They had a good season, Ferrari. Vettel and Charles Leclerc are the drivers. Too many mistakes by Vettel. He cuts them out. He could find for the championship till the last race. Charles Leclerc, the brightest talent in F1. Along with Max, I cannot wait to see what this guy can do. I firmly believe he'll struggle in the first three races, but then he'll push Vettel. The guy is a world-class driver, world-class talent. Red Bull, now quite a young lineup. We've got Max and we've got Pierre Gasly stepping up. Gasly's first season, he's done beautiful in the Toro Rosso. Ricardo leaves, Gasly's straight in there, a bit like Leclerc. First season in the sport, they're straight into the big team. Max, he got his chance early and Max is going to be the team leader in Red Bull. Can they fight for a championship with a Honda engine? We'll wait and see, but quite an inexperienced lineup that for Red Bull. On to Renault, Nico Hulkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo, seeking a new challenge, sick of Red Bull's unreliability. Unreliable but used to win races, he's not going to win races at Renault. He'll be lucky to get a podium next year, a massive risk for the smiling assassin. Nico Hulkenberg, Mr. Consistent, solid driver, best of the rest in the champion standings. And he's a solid driver, consistent. So there's four teams down. On to Toro Rosso, a new driver lineup for them. Hartley, not good enough. He's out of the sport. Gasly's being promoted to Red Bull. In comes the torpedo and the return. Third time lucky, Danny Kvyat. And what's the bet in? Max will win it Australia. Every time Kvyat returns, Max seems to win that race. And Alexander Albon, F2 driver, Thai driver. Although I think he was born in London, but he's Thai nationality. So yeah. That's going to be interesting. Toro Rosso, not a great lineup. That Kvyat and Albon. I mean, they know Kvyat. They don't like Kvyat. They've already dropped him like three times. Let's see what Albon can do. Finish second in the F2 championship. Now, on we go to Force India. Sergio Perez stays with the team and Lance Stroll comes in. Lance Stroll, the Canadian, only in the team because his dad owns half the team. And he basically said, give my son a drive, I'll invest. Perez, been there for years now. Underrated, solid driver. Williams, now this is positive for Williams. A new driver line up for them. Stroll's gone for Force India. Um, who else was at Williams? Sorokin is out the sport. We've got George Russell, F2 champion. Deserves his chance. Another bright talent coming through. And we've got the return of the Polishman, Robert Kubica. Exciting times for Williams. We know they're the worst car. They've got to have a better car next year. But them two, good drivers, hungry drivers, they'll push the team forward. Where it's been a disaster this year. Lance Stroll whining like a five-year-old. On to, I nearly said Ferrari then when I saw Kimi. It's not Ferrari anymore. On to Sauber we go. Antonio Giovinazzi and Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen, left Ferrari, experienced campaigner. 
again, that's good for Sauber to have someone of his experience in that team, world champion. And also, he can help G Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi did a couple of practice sessions. He's got his full-time chance now. He did a couple of races when Verline was deemed... Was it Verline? Hmm. Yeah, I think it was Verline. Anyway, he was in for two races while Verline was unfit. He's got his full-time chance now. Let's see what they can do. McLaren. Carlos Sainz, Lando Norris. Lando Norris has come through. Another Brit on the grid. We've got three Brits on the grid. You could actually count Albon as a Brit, but he's Thai nationality. Carlos Sainz, Norris. Sainz has left Renault. He's going to be the team leader at McLaren. Norris. F2 driver, done well this season, just pipped to the title. That's another bright lineup, but again, struggles this season for McLaren. And with McLaren, you always have a world champion in the seat, whether it's Raikkonen, whether it's Hamilton, Button, Alonso, Hakkinen. No world champion in the car for McLaren, which is a bit of an odd one. So, pretty inexperienced lineup again. Last but not least, and one of the rare few teams that haven't changed their drivers, Haas. Kevin Magnussen, the dirty boy himself, keeps his drive and Roman Grosjean. I think them and Mercedes are the only team that haven't changed. So, incredible. So, we're going to run it down. This is the 2019 grid confirmed. All confirmed. No bullshit clickbait here. This is the... I can't wait. We've got 107 days till practice. It's a long way away yet, but this is the 19 grid confirmed. Mercedes, we've got Lewis Hamilton, Valtteri Bottas. Red Bull, we've got Max Verstappen and Pierre Gasly. Ferrari, Sebastian Vettel, Charles Leclerc. Renault, Nico Hulkenberg, Daniel Ricciardo. Toro Rosso, we've got Danny Kvyat and Alexander Albon. Force India, Lance Stroll, the Canadian, Perez, the Mexican. Williams, George Russell and Robert Kubitzer, the return. Um, Sauber, Kimi Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, McLaren, Sainz and Lando Norris. Last but not least, Haas F1, Kevin Magnussen, Romain Grosjean. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, just to make sure that I have covered everyone. Don't want to upload the video. Oh shit, I've only done nine teams. I forgot so and so. So there we have it. 2019 grid confirmed. It's a way off yet the season, but finally. We knew Stroll was going to Force India. They finally announced it. And then it was who was going to get the Toro Rosso seat. Was it going to be Brendan Hartley or was it going to be Albon? Hartley. Hartley deserves to lose his seat. Not good enough. Crash, 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 crash. Not good enough. Million excuses. He deserved to lose his seat. I feel a bit sorry for Sergei Sorokin. Always had the positive word. But Kubitz is a better driver, isn't he? So, and who else has moved? We've got... Giovinazzi is an interesting one at Sauber. It'd be interesting to see how he does against the world champion in Raikkonen. But the one I'm most excited for is Max being a team leader and can Red Bull Honda fight for a championship? Of course, you've got the new engine with Red Bull. Red Bull are going to Honda. Is it going to be reliable? This is the big thing. Can they fight for a world championship? The problem with Red Bull is they start slow and then they become worldies mid-season, but by then it's too late. Yeah, so Max, a team leader, and Charles Leclerc, he's the one I'm looking forward to most. I truly believe he can push Vettel. Vettel, we know he's prone to a mistake and he's got a youngster who's hungry and is going to be in the sport for years. Max, Ocon, Russell, um, Gasly. Leclerc all battling for a title in the future. There we have it. 2019 grid confirmed already. Usually we have to wait a while, but we are confirmed and we're ready to go. 
Only a hundred and seven days left.